Welcome back to Making a Difference on Buzz TV. I'm Mike White. Joining me today is Sean Mulholland with Mulholland Forensics. Welcome to the program. Thank you. LJ alum, graduate 2017. That's correct. The most impactful, impactful class. class ever. Yes. Well, thank you for coming in today. So tell me about your company. Uh, my company is a company that's been headquartered in Jacksonville since 2006, and we take evidence off of uh, computers and cell phones and social media. How'd you get started in this business? I'm a retired New York City police sergeant, and I've been in the investigative business since 1990 in Jacksonville, and uh, had a gentleman come to me who had the ability to do this, and it's developed into a real uh, thriving business. What brought you to Jacksonville? My wife. Excellent. Yeah, I married into the Cooksey family that owns McCall's Service. Uh, David, Brian, John, great, Brother, great, great family. Great family. Uh, I'm involved in Boy Scouts, and they are involved in scouting and support so many. Fantastic. My father-in-law is a big scout guy. Yeah, Excellent. Brian, senior. Excellent. So um, through Leadership Jacksonville, what did you take away from that program? The program was fantastic, and it really exposed even somebody who's been here for 25 years uh, a lot of things in the in the community. We went out to Cecil Field. There's fantastic things happening at Cecil Field. We walked through downtown and saw the mur murals being built downtown. Uh, we heard speakers talk about things that are good and things that aren't so good and history. And uh, it was it was the 50 people in the class or 55 people in the class shared a lot of experiences. It was a uh, I'm something I'm glad I did. Well, you mentioned you followed your wife down here. I kid with my wife. I tell her if she ever leaves me, I'm going with her because <laughs> I got it good. But so date night in Jacksonville, where do you go? Uh, we like a lot of different places. Uh, my wife loves being on the water. So at River City Brewing, Anthony Candelino is a very close friend. Excellent. So we love going down there to the river. We love walking around downtown. Art Walk is always fun on uh, first Wednesday. Um, we just a lot of different places. Uh, sports, we're big sports people. My kids both went to Bishop Kinney and my daughter swam and my son played basketball. So if we're, we can find a sports bar, that's always a fun thing for us to do. But uh, anytime we can get together with friends and uh, love the beach, love the river, just, just the diversity. So what advice did you have for your kids with the use of social media being the investigator that you are? Uh, don't say anything that you wouldn't want to say. You wouldn't want to be up standing up and say in public. Because it's out there forever, ever? Out there forever. Excellent. So, any nonprofits that you support in Jacksonville? Very active in a lot of law enforcement and police and security agencies. And uh, the one that, that uh, uh, stands out to me is the 200 Club. And it really flies under the radar. It's a group of 200 business people who make small do donations every year and set aside money for police officers or first responders that are injured or killed in the line of duty. So the young man that was just killed up on the expressway, they kind of set aside some money for his son for a college fund. And uh, just a group of people that meet once a year. And that's a nice thing about it. some of these thing, groups meet a lot. Um, also in downtown Rotary, downtown Rotary does a nice job. We meet for Monday's lunch and that's, a, that's been a good group. And uh, several other groups just uh, that have been active in uh, the American Society for Industrial Security has a good chapter here and the certified fraud examiners. So I try and get involved three or four meetings a month to try and be active in the community. It sounds like you are one, one busy person. Stay busy. So if someone wants to find out more about your company, where would they go? A uh, website, uh, Mulholland Investigation or MulhollandForensics.com, either one. Uh, it's got some pretty good indication of things that we do and things that we've been doing. Well, thank you for joining us on the program today and all that you guys do for the community. Thank you for joining us on Buzz TV. We will see you next time. Thanks for having me.